And so, on this week's review, Kid X is said to have a return to the game with a new album, Aries debut a new alter ego, Kespan Vest caught some smoke from South African rappers after saying that SA Hip Hop is dead, Master KG recalls a near death experience, whereas Costa Tiesten aka just dropped a collab project. And so, on the top stories of the week, Kid X is said to have a return of all returns to the game as he recently dropped Jukebox featuring Moosley and he will drop a new album called Father of Zen on the 1st of October, which according to a nota post will save as a hip hop. But then, we'll see. Kespan Invest announced a new alcoholic brand called Biliato, which he explained means billion and was inspired by Val's love for Italian words, hence Biliato, being a state of mind. And of course, controversy will always be there as some other people accused him of copying McG's Gondor design. But anyways, Bright Show aired his first episode on SABC1 this week featuring Zosebini Tunzi after there was uncertainty as to whether or not it will air after a legal scare from previous host aka which is why the Bryce show has lost a sponsor. But according to AKA statement, even though he continues the legal fight, he wishes Casper and the show well. Either way, his comments about SA Hip Hop being dead prompted responses from guys like Costa Teach, Pretty Ugly, Ricky Rick and even MT as the industry said that he was being ungrateful and shining on hip hop since I'm a piano sells more. Which even made guys like DJ Simza come out to say that SA Hip Hop is dead as he has less options to choose from if he's making an event. But on a more positive note, he and Kamun Pella killed their performances in London at the first annual Ama Fest concert, which even had fans saying that Kamun Pella is living the life that Babes Oduma could have lived, which prompted as well a response from Babes Oduma with a clapback video. But talking of videos, there was a video of Babes Oduma getting arrested screaming help help. <laughs> which according to a manager was a music video shoot but people don't buy it since there were no cameras on site. On some other news, ambitious artist Loiso just signed a deal with Republic Records in New York via Universal Music South Africa, putting him on the same label as Drake and Ariana Grande. DJ Zintla's world seemingly revealed the name of a child being Asante on an Instagram post. Master KG revealed that he survived a near-death experience after a plane engine exploded, leaving him and other passengers in the plane for a few hours in the air and he thanks the pilots for getting them down safe. And there were pictures that were reported to be of Kanyambao's boyfriend, Ruzai Mushonga, masturbating, which I won't talk much about them but I will leave the link in the description so you guys go check it out because oh my god. Kamun Pella came out saying that at this point she will have to speak to Drake after Casper Nivea suggested that Drake has a crush on him. Of which still on Drake, he featured as a producer Tressa on his album, producing a track featuring Nigerian star Tams. And Nasty C has been nominated for a BT award in the States, being his third nomination in a row. But on some new music, AKA and Costa Tish dropped a joint project with Fire Tracks, Aries and original J Jody dropped Ridiculous with a new alter ego called Blue Tape. And coming to stats, pretty ugly song Soil spent 4 weeks at number 1 on Massive Metro. Aries is ridiculous with Joey also topped hip hop charts within hours of being released. Sibali by Intabese Dubai reached over 6 million views on YouTube. Blackie's Before Now album is officially the most streamed hip hop album of 2021. 25k reached a milestone of 10,000 followers on Spotify. Manier C's hit single also surpassed a million views on YouTube, whereas Nasty C's Jack now has over 2.8 million views in just two months. And Kespan Invest is officially the most Google celebrity in South Africa, according to new data released. And in fact, he's the most popular celebrity on the platform for the past 15 years. And that was it for this week's review. And for Artist of the Week, we have Jam Persona with his track Wave. With some snakes on the trees and snakes on the leaves, so don't touch the truth. Forbidden as it was, I would cut it down. Forbidden as it was to control your crowd. In search of your love until my next one. I needed more than Eric Hills to find your son. When hissing and hissing and hissing, uh, slow rhythm, but her body would maneuver like Medusa in the late nights. I, Poseidon persona, still tripping out the water deep. If you guys want to check out Jam, I'll make sure that I leave the link in the description so you guys go check it out.